Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing, which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I am Sasha Sieg, and this is Michael Muchmore. Uh, our cool thing today is a tiny, uh, <laughs> is, is this a robot crab, or is this just uh, That's our Lego? Model. That's the talent. Today. Okay, okay. It's, it's, just a, it's just a Lego crab. It doesn't crawl around or, or make noises or anything like that. Uh, if you are watching us live on Facebook, Please ask us questions about things, about anything really. Um, uh, Social Pete over there will take your questions, uh, relay your comments to us. We will have a true dialogue between minds. Uh, if you are watching us later on YouTube, then uh, please like and subscribe and feel free to come back uh, every day, every US non-holiday weekday to our uh, YouTube channel for another One Cool Thing. The real One Cool Thing we have today is actually software. It is the software that operates this. No, it actually is not on this crab. It is Corel Video Studio Ultimate. Version 2018. Why is it the ultimate, Michael? Um, this is, each video program pretty much has three levels. They have like a very low end, basic, you can join clips and make output. But, and then they have more effects in the mid range, and then they have full support for all the file formats and, and more fancy effects in their top end. So Ultimate is just their, their top end version. Okay, so this is, this is the full support for everything Corel Video Studio does. Um, so now, now just to set the scene, who is this product for? Because okay. I feel like in our video editing reviews, we get a lot of, uh, in the comments threads, we get a lot of like real people like going at loggerheads. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is squarely aimed at consumers, just hobby okay. hobbyists. Some. Okay. And Corel admits that, because Corel also makes Pinnacle, which they're aiming at a higher end. It's, it's a more beefy, lots more controls and time codes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so so Video Studio, um, the reason it's one of my editor's choices is that it's really easy. It has a lot of fun effects. Um, it's reasonably priced. It's reasonably fast. I mean, it's not like the super best at anything, but for, mm -hmm. for a starter, it's got an easy, they've updated the interface to be even easier. Um, they've added 3D titling. Um, they've added more 360 video support, your favorite. Um, we're not really going to show that today. Um, but one of the things I really like about it too is its stop motion capability. Mm. And that's why we have this guy. Um, would you like to see that or do you want to? Oh, we should say yeah, the ultimate version is $99. Okay. Um, often discounted. Even like if you go right now on our site, you'll see it's $89.99. And this is so. a Windows 10 program, requires Windows 10, right? Yeah, it's Windows only. Okay. So and actually, it'll go back to 7 SB. Okay, okay. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so show us how easy it is. Okay, so if you can see the welcome screen here, um, you just have samples and inspiration tutorials, and, and actually you can buy um, templates, and uh, you can actually add features and effects there from that page. Um, now, the, the, the main screen here is the editing screen, and, and you'll see here we've got um, the preview video is on the upper left, and then we've got your source, content, which could be audio, photos, and video um, in the upper right. And then you just drag stuff down onto the timeline here, and now you've, in, you've joined a movie. In terms of audio, photos, and video, what kinds of, uh, what what kinds of file formats can you take in here? Uh, what do you need to think about when you're capturing it, whether it be uh, with your phone, whether it be, you know, with a dedicated uh, um, DSLR? Right, it supports most types of input. Um, they're, they're a capture, even for the old school sort of where you have tape almost and, and you can, you have to play back and actually capture you as it's playing. support those weird HEIC files that the iPhones capture now? Oh, you know what? I mm, I think it does. Okay, I'm not, see, I'm that's not, a good thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. but I mean everything pretty much supports mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. now, so that's not so much a differentiator as okay. it used to be. Okay. Um, so you join clips, you add transitions, you add effects, you add titles. Um, and it's all in a pretty easy interface. There's a big okay. T for titles. There's so, a big... so far, just like every other video editing program I've seen in the past 15 years. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, but what they added, they were, Corel was, um, with this video studio, they were the first to add a couple of really nifty effects. And, and the one is, is the stop motion um, capturing effect here. So if we go over to capture, okay. we go to stop motion. Okay, where am I putting crap? Um, no camcorder devices detected. 
Where's my... Let's take a question <laughs> while uh, Michael can figure create. this. Let's, let's do create. Is this a one-time purchase or is it a subscription like Adobe? Um, this is a one-time purchase, $99, and it's and it's yours for good. Um, I mean, these, these like, the whole subscription versus buying is, is a little bit um, artificial because if you want the new features, um, you know, usually you'll, you'll, you might save 20 bucks on the upgrade price. So you end up paying, um, you know, if you want to be left behind and just you're happy with the software as it is and you don't want any new support, you don't want any new features, then yeah, buy it once and it'll work for you. And there are some people that that's all they need to do. I no, need to join clips, I need to add titles. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of people who feel like that. I yeah. mean, my, my, uh, my wife is a professional artist, okay? She is like a serious, real artist. Um, she used uh, Photoshop CS2 for a good six years. There it is. You know? She did not Oh yeah, a any... lot of people use a super old version of Photoshop because exactly. they don't want a subscription. But I really think in that case, they're missing out because the new Photoshop is, this is miles and miles better than... But like when you're used to the, especially with those Photoshops, when you're used to the interface and you're used to where everything is and it does everything you need, you know, you don't necessarily want the rug pulled out from you for like 3D rendering features you don't use. I'm just saying, that's right. the argument. I mean, in video though, you know, most people want the new camera. If you're a hobbyist, you're gonna get the new GoPro. Mm -hmm. You know, you want something that will support the new stuff. Okay, let's do some let's do some so, stop motion. So here's the we'll stop take your motion. question later. We're um, gonna do some stop motion for a minute. So you go to the capture mode here, you do create a stop motion, and there's a little record button. Mm -hmm. Um it will support even a DSLR. So you I could connect a Canon or Nikon DSLR mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. will trigger the Sweet. the captures. Mm -hmm. So look, I hit this record okay. button. Tell me when to move Krabby. Move him an inch now. I've got one shot. I hit it again. And, and you'll notice when he moves it, there's like a little shadow there that shows you where it's going. See, his, even his hand looks like a shadow. So <clears throat> we're gonna do like yeah. 10, now I'm, 15 I'm, of these frames. I'm just in, manually um, clicking the shutter, but there's actually a, an, an automatic module where it'll just it'll just click every five seconds. And there are these grid things that will tell you, you know, I can have this grid overlay. I don't. Can you see that? The grid? Yeah, yeah. you can see it. Um, or a circular. Keep taking frames. Um, oh, sorry. Let me let me record. Okay. Okay. Hang on. You can hear it clicking like a camera shutter. One, a couple more, and then we'll we'll show the result. We're gonna have a surprise. It's gonna look like he's alive. I mean, if you want to get fancy, you would like move his little limbs and things like that. Okay. Wait, 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 One wait, more. wait, wait. Oh, you're gonna make him tumble. Oh, oh, I no, have your hand. Oh, you have my I'm hand sorry. in it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, okay. We can erase that. Though. Yeah, erase that but, frame, please. Uh, Tell me how you erase a frame. Uh, let's. That's a good. I've never actually done that, but let's try it here. Delete. Delete. Easy. Great. Okay. Okay. So now, now let's, this frame. let's play. No, no, we can recapture that frame okay. with the upside down. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to make him wiggle a little. Right there, though. Uh, I, I have a creative recording. concept here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Great. He's now, upside now down. I'm going to make him wiggle a little like that. Ah. <laughs> and then wiggle a little like that. Hang on, hang on. Fun with stop me. motion at PCMag.com. Yeah. Eh, it's gonna have to be like that, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And he's... now he's gonna tumble out of frame. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last one. Great. Okay, now we can play it. Um, we can even go full screen and play it for you guys, can we? Oh, that full screen button. Okay, I'm gonna lean over here and look. Okay. Because I want to see this. So uh, this see. wonder that there I just he is. created. He's moving. Hey! It's like oh. he's alive. Well, it's one more time, folks. Are you seeing it over there? There's our live. And, and so now the advantage of this versus dedicated stop motion uh, programs like say iStopMotion is that this is also a fully featured right. so you can take, video editing. You program. can take that in and add the titles, add the effects, you know. But also you could integrate stop motion oh, in sure, with sure. other forms of right. video. We could we could have a stop that stop motion in the middle of this. Like in fact, I think I'm gonna do it on the YouTube version. That's super fun. <laughs> okay, let's take some questions. What does this compete with from Adobe and how does it measure up? This competes with Premiere Elements, which costs the same. Um, the difference is, this is, uh, Elements, I like Elements a lot, um, but it's kind of slow and it kind of doesn't keep up with, with the new forms. For example, no three, no, like when 3D was a big thing, Premiere Elements never had any 3D support. 360, no 360 support yet. So like for the, for the enthusiasts who wants to stay on the edge of things, 
Premiere Elements isn't that good, and plus it's kind of slow to render. Rendering speed is, is always a big deal with, with video editing software. So, I mean, I like Premiere Elements, but I think for a beginner, um, this is a little nicer. It has more fun, fun tools. Not to say Premiere Elements has these things um, called guided edits, which, which show you how to create a certain effect, and, and there are a lot of really nice ones like that. Um, and they actually recently just added another feature that, that this guy, uh, Corel Video Studio was was a leader in um, is motion tracking, and that's the deal where you know you have somebody running across the screen, and you put like a caption and attach that to your head, and that will follow the person running, and that's motion tracking. Um, another use of that, of course, is is if you want to black out, you know, blur out mm -hmm. someone's face, and the blur will follow the person as they move across the screen. Um, Video Studio was one of the first to have that. Uh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite music videos ever actually involves that uh, motion tracking, putting a bubble over someone's head. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All the time. You can do yeah. that with this pretty easily, and this actually even has multi-point motion tracking. So I could have two things that's, that are being followed here that are going in different directions, and something's following each mm -hmm. of them. It's pretty cool, cool and you cool. can edit the path and all that stuff. Okay, so now what to run this adequately? What kind of a PC do you need? Um, I think you, you just need, I, I would say you want 8 gigs uh, of RAM at okay. least. You want a decent modern-ish video card. Um, wait, 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 that gets very controversial. Yeah. So what, about what about machines with integrated video? I mean, it'll run, it'll run. Um, in fact, I think this machine might be integrated. This is like the base, lowest end um, surface. Um, surface book. Book. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that has integrated video, and yeah. you want like an i5. Yeah, and the Intel, the CPUs now have have pretty nice video, mm -hmm. unless you're doing high power gaming. Um, yeah, this is an i5, and it's running fine. Um, yeah, I mean basically any like not super cheap PC that you've bought in the past three years should be mm -hmm. just fine. Okay, great. Uh, any more questions out there? Does Krill have any mobile apps? Um, you know, that is one thing that is, is kind of lacking. There, there isn't really a mobile. I, I know that like Adobe um, and Apple have these uh, mobile apps that you could shoot from your phone mm -hmm. and then move that over to your, um, to your screen. But, you know, really, it's not that big of a deal because you, you can connect the phone here and you import the videos that are on it, uh, you know, to create your video, your movie. But yeah, this is an old school video editing program. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, great. So uh, this is uh, Corel Video Studio Ultimate. We gave it four and a half stars in the editor's choice for what is the category here? Entry level video editing. Okay, entry level software. video editing. So if you are uh, considering making some fun videos on your Windows desktop PC uh, or laptop for that matter, uh, this is a really good purchase and will serve you well. Uh, the full review is up on PCMag.com. Thank you all for watching. This has been One Cool Thing. We will be back tomorrow with another cool thing at 10 a.m. Eastern on Facebook. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe and check back on our channel for more cool things for you.